Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan Lags, and today I am playing some Desolation again. So, uh, this is a post-apocalyptic survival PvP world that my friend Bean Crew 49 has built. Uh, I did one video on this map a couple of weeks ago where we just played some Last Man Standing, um, which is basically just like Hunger Games, but there's so many different cool game types that you can play on this world, so uh, I'm back again for today's video. We're going to be doing another game type, and this is probably my personal favorite of all the game types I've played, and this one is called The Hidden, so you guys might recognize that name from a popular Gary's Mod PC uh, mini game where there's like uh, one person who is invisible, and there's like a bunch of survivors on like an area that have to try to hunt the invisible person and while the invisible person is hunting them. So uh, that is what we are playing right now and I am the hidden t for this game. So um, I just I was doing a post commentary for this one guys uh, because you know I would normally do the you know regular Xbox Live like live reactions but uh, on Xbox One is which what we're playing on. You know you can't record other people's voices just right through the Xbox. So uh, I was unable to record the in the uh, interactions that I had between the other people in the game. So it's really just me kind of like talking to myself and it's kind of like awkward and I don't talk a whole lot since I'm like listening to what other people are saying. So um, I'm doing a post commentary on this instead while I'm playing as the hidden. So I'll kind of explain uh, as I go, but this is one round of, of me playing as the hidden right here. I'm about to get my first kill. So this guy doesn't see me because I'm invisible. So I make sure I'm behind him and uh, swack away at my sword and he actually does get a few hits on me and takes me down a few hearts, but I was able to get rid of him. So um, the important thing about this game is that you want to make sure you walk around without your sword in your hand because your sword will appear, like as you can see right there on the screen. Um, you have to make sure that your hand has nothing in it. That way you're completely invisible. The only thing people can see is the bubbles. So uh, we're playing on this like small little apartment complex building, so no one's allowed to leave this general building. And uh, yeah, so I, I do pretty well in this game. I get quite a few kills and... I'm just going to kind of do a commentary over it. So uh, for those of you who do not know, who maybe didn't watch the first Desolation video, um, this is like an amazing like post-apocalyptic survival world, like I said. Um, and there's just a ton of different game types you can play. We Again, we played Hunger Games last time. This time we're doing The Hidden. Uh, we've done a bunch of other things as well. So, um, you know, I've just been really enjoying playing this from time to time. So... Um, and this was one of my personal best games that I had as the hidden in like a, we played for like an hour the other night with a bunch of people and I was a hidden one time and this, I took advantage of my one chance because I did pretty well in this game. So I played pretty slow paced. I was pretty deliberate in my decision making because I was going against some really good players, especially Bean, who's obviously the creator of the map. And he, um, I don't want to, you know, uh, foreshadow too far into the, this uh, particular match, but I do end up having an encounter with him at some point, uh, spoiler alert. But yeah, this uh, this game type is really, really enjoyable. Um, I have, basically, I'm equipped with uh, invisibility potions and night vision potions. And the survivors that are hiding in this apartment complex are equipped with, I believe, one health potion. They're equipped with a power five bow and an iron sword. I have an iron sword that's knockback, so um, it's kind of like I have sharp claws. And I just spotted another person. Uh, coming out in the open right there right there so I'm, I'm on the trail of uh my second victim here i was kind of like playing it off like i was like yeah i don't i haven't seen anyone in a while and i was just like following him so i ended up following him all the way around this uh little balcony here and getting him stuck right in this corner on the top of this little blocks here and then i take out my sword and he had no idea got the nice drop on him and i was able to survive without losing any hearts at all so i'm sitting here with three and a half and i'm uh, i just picked up his um, his healing potion, his splash potion of healing, and I obviously splash myself. You're allowed to use the victim's splash potion of healing if you're able to kill them. That's one of the rules. You're not allowed to use their, um, uh, their bow, though. That's illegal. So, even though I have it in my inventory, I'm not going to use it. So, I'm able to get myself back up to seven hearts, which is important because, uh, they, they can't hit you for pretty good damage, as you'll see later. So, um, and as you guys saw at the beginning of my first kill, that guy was able to get two hits off me, even though I was invisible. So, um, the idea is that once you like see the hidden like usually you can spot them by whether they're holding their sword or um, You know you can see the particles kicking up on the ground or you can see the bubbles from the potions. That's how you know um, That you have to start swinging your sword away really really fast and the smart strategy that a lot of these guys took in this game was hiding inside of rooms closing the door that way I have to open the door in order to enter the room Therefore they are alerted to my presence because the door opened by itself. So that's uh, an interesting thing 
but yeah, it kind of sucks that I was unable to record the other, uh, the voices of the other players in the game because it was really fun just kind of laughing and, uh, the uh, interactions that we had and all the reactions that people had when they died was really funny, but, uh, again, you know, there's nothing I can do about the fact that Xbox One is less advanced than the Xbox 360, but, I'm um, starting to, uh, sneak up on another person. I have eyes on target. As you can see, there's a bunch of arrows in that room, so somebody is hiding in there, and uh, right now I'm, I'm kind of, like, pulling a little, like, fish bait with him right now. I opened up that door and backed away to, s to see if he pays attention to that door. He made the mistake of hiding in a door with or hiding in a room with two doors so um i was able to kind of like just go back and forth between the doors and choose which one that i wanted to attack from and you guys will see in just a second so as you can see he's spamming arrows at that door which gave me the idea to walk in here underneath of him and you'll see him right on top of the shelf right now there he is so then i was able to get the drop on him he has no idea i'm here and i take him out so i think he might have gotten one hit on me with his arrow but i was i was able to uh, splash push myself back up to full horse so i'm looking good three kills in uh, having myself a really nice game so far. So um, now it gets a little bit slow. Again, I was having a hard time finding the last three players. So we were playing with seven people total, um, six hiders, and one hidden. I always think it's funny that the name of the person that's searching is the hidden. I guess just because they're invisible, but it's really the uh, people I'm going up against that are the hiders. <laughs> they're the hidden, honestly. So, but yeah, this is this is definitely my favorite game type on Desolation. Um, it's fun because Bean has set up like five or six different areas on the map where you can play this like he has a, a Spot in the city hall obviously this apartment building. I did pretty good on this one uh, He there's just a bunch of different spots on his world and obviously um, Just like last episode. I highly recommend you guys go check out his channel. His channel's grown pretty good um, You know, I'm pretty happy about that because he's got honestly like one of the more underrated channels on uh, Xbox 360 Minecraft so uh, the world that he has um, is pretty special so uh, again, the links are in the description if you guys are interested in checking out Bean's channel and subscribing and watching him build this world uh, little by little. Kind of like I'm, what I'm doing with CLD. I think it's going to be something you guys like. And uh, It seemed like a lot of you guys went over there and subscribed the first time. So, again, just doing another little promo here. But, yeah, I just kind of walk around for a while. Uh, I'm kind of playing the bluffing game, like, you know, more or less saying, like, oh, yeah, I have no clue where you guys are and just trying to get a, a read on where some people are because I know... I don't want to just go like balls deep into one room because there might be two people at a door and I might get screwed. So um, as you can see right here, my night vision and my um, invisibility is wearing off because it's been a long game. Usually these games only last about four or five minutes. This one's this one goes for about 10. So I have to re-up my uh, potion supply as I'm kind of searching this area. But yeah, no one's allowed to go outside this apartment complex. So like kind of the area behind the stairs there, you're not allowed to go outside of that. Um, and then, you know, you can go upstairs as well. But uh, it's cool because there's like a, a bunch of different spots that he has in the world. He's got like a couple of apartment buildings where this is set up for, again, like I said, city hall. So um, lots of different options that you can play on. And I think that's what's really cool about it. So right here, I get a read on somebody. And this is getting t uh, close to the end of the game. So uh, I now know that there's at least one person in this room. So I go ahead and open the door to kind of see how they react. And I'm just kind of waiting to see what they, if they're getting nervous or not. And uh, I end up going in right about now, and I see one person here. So I go in and get the kill for my fourth kill. But of course, the, the creator of the map himself, Bean, is right behind me there to uh, finish me off. So they had a really good strategy. They had like one person in each corner of the room to um, kind of like defend each other. So uh, one person was the bait, and then Bean came in for the final strike on me. So uh, overall, that was a great game, though. Four kills um, for one hidden is actually really good. So um, I, that was probably my best game ever as a hidden. Uh, I, I've won before, and I've gotten a couple of kills, but four kills is the most I've ever gotten in one game, so that was pretty good, and I was kind of happy I recorded that. So, um, guys, that's the hidden. I have a few more um, clips of to show you guys of just me playing um, as as the hider, so like I'll be uh, getting killed by the hidden or killing the hidden. So I got a couple of kills to show you guys and a couple of reactions right now before we end the video, but... Again, thanks for watching, guys. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to Bean's channel for, desol for more Desolation and things like this if you like these kind of mini games. Um, yeah, and I just want to keep playing them. It's really fun. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy these bonus clips, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out. Watch him, like, open the door and, like, end or pearl across the room right behind us. That's going to happen. This is true skill. It, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is here. All right, get ready, guys. Shoot at the door. Yeah, shoot at the door. Oh, I'm dead. 
Oh, she shot. <laughs> I just. I stepped in front of your bow. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh, this is not going well. Oh, nice, nice. You revenged me. You avenged me. I, I like that. That was that was that was a brutal fail on my part. That was brutal. No, don't even apologize. That was absolutely my fault. I stepped right in front of your bow. I was, I was like, <laughs> dun dun dun, game on. And the roof is um, where they where the hidden spawns. So. Oh well, I just found that out. <laughs> One spawns at the bottom. Is that so? <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the bottom because the, all, the both the hiddens are on the roof. Nope. All right, you guys wanna collaborate on one of these uh, balconies? Somebody cover one side. All right, army man, here you cover cover that um, staircase. Just kind of like watch it, and uh, I'll I'll watch this one over here. He must be upstairs, guys. Got him! Yeah, I got him. Uh, oh, the arrows were sticking out of your invisible body. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. He might be there. He might be there. I think I just heard another door open. Okay, okay. No, no, no! Don't do that! <laughs> don't do that! Okay, he's right there. He's right outside the door. He <laughs> closed that door. Oh, okay. He's there. He's there. He's okay. He's got Ender Pearl. He's in the. Oh, we got him. Okay. Ooh, okay. I just like freaked out. I got all like. <laughs> I'm over here doing this. I'm just like, ah, ah, where is he? I don't know. You you made the greatest play ever. I'll tell you what. No, Bean. I, I thought what you were gonna do is I I was so scared because I saw you open the door. And you had the Ender Pearl in your hand, so I was like, oh, he's gonna Ender Pearl to the back behind us in the back of the room. I was like, this guy's got the greatest strategy ever, and that's what I expected. So I backed up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was our. That was, all right. Listen, our our strategy worked, guys. Our door strategy was brilliant. It's a completely advantage him because I cannot see him coming. <laughs> but still, you know what? Oh god, you'll never catch me alive! <laughs> I saw him coming, I just jumped off! <laughs>